Um, uh, Neil, you must be thrilled with that. Yeah, I thought um, at the end of a long week, three games in a week, I thought um, with the threats that they've they've posed in the last two away games, I think they're the top scorers in the league and they've banged in eight away from home. You know, you always think uh, you need to get a lot of things right to come away with a win. And today, it felt like a grind. It didn't feel free-flowing and, and uh, you know, I didn't see too many of our patterns in there. But um, the way we defended, I mean, Sam's had hardly anything to do. We've had one, I think, one cleared off the line. But the amount of blocks we got in around the edge of the box when they were trying to get shots off, uh, that's why you keep clean sheets. Is, is that it? Is, is it the work ethic out there and the energy as much as anything which is making a difference, particularly on afternoons like this, where, like you say, you're not seeing those patterns? Yeah, I think when you come up against, they're a good team. Um, when you come up against good teams, I think Dagenham and these the last two times, you have to try and get every part of your game right. We've taken our chances when they come. I think we've had probably three or four good ones in the game. We've taken two of them and um, we've thrown our bodies in the way of everything, every cross, every every shot and um, kept a clean sheet and that's what grinds out wins when you're not probably as free-flowing as you have been. Credit to those defenders at the moment. Um, Rawlinson, massive today. They all played well and Brindley gets the man of the match for his Roberto Carlos strike. Um, but as a, as a whole unit, that back five, um, Obviously, Zoom had to go off injured. How impressed have you been with the way they have played over the last few games? Yeah, and, and you know, even for someone like Ben Turner to come back from his calf and go three games in a week, three nineties. You know, last week they were telling me you can probably start him, but he's probably only got sixty in him. And today he's been smashed on the <laughs> top of his shin, smashed in the face, and um, yeah, all of them. I think um, you know we're getting a lot of basic stuff right, but let's not get carried away. Mm. Um, like I always say, it's uh, we're chipping away. Are you finding that you're having to kind of measure a little bit of expectation now and things like that because all of a sudden the fans are singing, everybody's happy and, and people start to drink? I just I said yesterday on, on the web chat that, you know, you go about your work quietly and um, efficiently and that's what we're trying to do. You know, no point shouting this, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, you'll soon come unstuck. We're going to work really hard, we're going to try and stay together, we're going to... You know, give it everything we've got and see where it takes us. It feels as though momentum's got a huge part of, and confidence, the run that the club's on at the moment. And, and does that breed into the energy that's out there as well? Yeah, I've said before as well, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for a manager to give confidence to a group of players if they're not winning games or they're not finding the solutions to win games. Winning breeds confidence and at the moment the boys believe when they go on the pitch they can win games, they believe they're a good team and you know I don't do anything to, to change that mindset um, other, than, other than make sure we're aware of what we're going to face. Goal of the season competition is, is going to be pretty much something isn't it and we're only in October uh, your thoughts on Richard Brindley's finish um, it's a great finish to be fair it was a, it was a routine we only worked it was on good. yesterday yeah we worked on it yesterday um, and you know we just we always study the opposition, every opposition, and work out where we think their weaknesses can be. To be fair, we got we had probably three or four corners, and we got three or three of them wrong that we, you know, we worked out because they did zone all five zones and three markers. So we come up with a plan of taking their zones out of the equation. So I'd have rather the first bit go in yeah, from Dennis. Christian's finish because <laughs> that would have been the complete uh, routine that we did. But um, but Brindley's strike was lovely. No, you can't really practice the, the Brindley strike there. Um, word on Zamana Bakayogo had to come off injured look pretty serious for a time how is he yeah no it, it, it wasn't so much an injury it was a weird one he got whacked and he was in pain but uh, he started throwing up on the pitch oh really yeah he was sick on the pitch um, and we, we don't know why because it wasn't a clash on the head or anything he something must have come over him to do it and Marco went over and he'd, he'd been sick and you know although Zoom typically wanted to carry on Marco felt it might be best just to get him off as a precautionary. So um, I don't think it's so much the, the whack on the shin as, as uh, he, he didn't feel great. It's a, a fifth clean sheet here in a row at Meadow Lane. Um, it's a, a third straight win here as well in front of your home fans. Uh, how important is it that you've managed to lay a moniker down here at home now and, and you know kind of make a, make a statement to the rest of the league that when you do come here, yeah, the pitch is nice and yeah, the stands are nice and the changing rooms, but it ain't easy. And that's what we wanted to do at the start. I think, you know, bar that first week where we all know we was all over the shop in every way. Um, when Barnett came and beat us on the telly, we've, we've, we haven't lost here. So that, you know, you walk into this place at 1.30 as a player and you've got good feelings about it because, you know, you, you leave here at six o'clock, five o'clock with a win. So um, that's that's what we want to create. But we know that we have to master everything throughout uh, all, the, all the games, different challenges we're going to face. And the fans are singing your name and asking for a wave. How nice is that? 
I didn't know they knew what my name was. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, they, it's it's nice, and winning does that. Um, you know, it doesn't change anything. I've I've always thought they were great, and um, I've always done my best here. So at the moment, the players are, are doing great on the pitch. You know, the recruitment seems to have been good, and um, we need to try and bring them some success as they haven't had much. And what's this snog marry avoid thing that I'm hearing about? Oh, I got a question yesterday on the uh, web chat of who I would uh, snog marry avoid out of you, Lee Curtis, and and Stallard. So. Uh, you you got the snog for your boyish, charmish, you know, good looks. So. Thanks, mate. And Lee got. Well, he was, he was the avoid. For, and, for, and so you're marrying two, stuff for two many reasons. Okay, <laughs> and I got the snog. Well, let's see how things go. If you're getting promoted, we'll see. Thanks so much, Tom. Cheers. <laughs>